it's been an exciting day, isn't it? Yeah. Is this the last day? <laughs> Definitely uh, the last day. Or maybe, not? maybe not. Right. <laughs> I think yes. probably. I think we're going about as far as we can. I think we have. Yes. Um, yeah. Stuff. Fantastic brick stuff. Brick features. Oh, that's just astounding. I mean, there. What do you reckon? What? Um, in terms of when these are built, these are probably 18th century, they may well be mid 18th century, might be later. Um, you see they're quite well built but they're bowing quite a lot, there's been a lot of heat uh, distortion to them but these aren't bits of the furnace, these are actually bits of the ash pan. So this is the very end of the ash pits underneath the furnaces. So the, the level down here that we're looking down to, the camera's looking down, is bedrock. Bedrock with the mortar bedding course for the brickwork. Right. You'll see there's a wee brick arch as well here. See that arm that just pops yes, across? Yes, I can. I can just see the top of it. Yeah, yeah. so I, th I, think that, I think that's just bridging across some of the bedrock just so they can build this as a flush end okay. in brickwork. Right, got you. That's right. amazing. Um, so that's what that iron bar that we saw the other days, that's definitely one of the supports for the, the, the grate. So we're looking at everything here that's probably, we think, well, we think it's probably 18th century in some shape or form. Last going out of use, 18th. Uh, according to the pottery we've got, the, that is the, the last date for that would be about 1825, and right. that's in the backfill at the top. Okay. So that gives us a, a broad dating for the filling. Right. What we haven't got today are many find finds, apart from Ooh. an absolute um, mountain of iron rivets. So you can just yeah. about see that. That's the end of the rivet here, and somebody's been in with a bolster. The other end would have been here. And that's the plate, just almost an inch thick. Very like the one we got yesterday as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The, the, well, today um, we've got almost a, yes. a bucket full of them. There's <laughs> loads of these. So this is the very end of the pans, yeah. lying on top of the infill to these. It's the last thing they've done. They've taken the pan up, they've smashed it up, yeah. basically so. snapped the rivets to get the plates off so you can move it out. Right. It's out curious that yeah. one of these features is filled with them and the other one isn't. So it's just, yeah. they've, they've kind of dumped stuff in a specific one for whatever reason. Could have been anything, could be yeah. different crews, just yeah, a couple absolutely. of different guys working on it. Um, so that's, that's, this is definitely 18th, 19th century. We've, what, what we're trying to do today was to get back down to the 17th century origins of the salt pan house. I think we've got it, we've got it sussed basically. Much. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, we're, we're, we're suggesting now that this big stone structure, you're thinking that's the base of the chimney that goes with these brick ash pits and brickwork. So in fact, we've lost the flues, yeah? Yeah, the so, chimney. so the, the flues, this is this is the fire level here. So the flues are going to be up here somewhere. So that's, that's yeah. underneath. And what we've got in that corner there is the, the, is the basis, the, the mortar packing for the foundations yeah. for the flue. So that chimney there has gone in after the 1630s. It's yeah. not original. Got the Brown, Brown Riggs describes different types of fluing arrangements, different types of pan. Yes. When they had the grates, he, he describes the flues being at the far end. But when they didn't, and they were burning on the sole, on yep. the on the ground, it's at that end, at the yes. firing end as well. So that makes sense with what we've got now. Yes. And we know this because we could all, we've also managed to find. This is brilliant. Yeah. This is this is <laughs> thank, thank you for this one, Alan. I was right in front of it and I couldn't see it. There's an opening there on the the right hand side there. Just there. And there's the other side of it there, the jams of that opening. Just there. Yep. Just about five six feet Which away. We're actually so in clear view the whole time, and we never noticed them. So all of this, this big chimney, um, all this rubble infill in here is blocking up the original opening from the, the 1630s, yes. which ties in really nicely with the blocking that we know yep. now on this big Absolutely. opening on the other side. We now know we've got an entrance with that large arch on that side, one behind us there, which has been trashed by the Victorian blocking in the entrance, and we've got one on the north side as well. So in the last yeah. half hour it's all just dovetailed in together isn't it come together really nicely yes. and we're down here we tried to go down we thought we'd maybe go down a fair depth here but what we've got to now is bedrock again yeah. so all the sort of black and ready stuff the, the bedrock's red at this point yeah you see it there there's a black surface on top maybe just an inch or two thick which has compacted coal and ash which presumably was at some point the working surface. A trampled surface. And yeah. I think that point was before all of this brickwork went in, so we're probably looking at 17th century working yeah. surface. But tantalising nothing from it, no I mean, finds that's dated. There's nothing at all, absolutely nothing. So, I am intrigued that we've got just hints of the early wall coming around there, and believe it or not, that trampled bit there 
is the remains of a, a stone wall. Yes. It's just degraded yeah. so much. So that would they, I presume that they would have come up higher to about this level and then the pan would have been above that. Yeah. So quite a space for the, the soul. So I think the size of the pan has been the same in the, the early and not, later periods. Not so similar, isn't it? I think we measured them about nine feet across, which it's fits the early, ties the early dimensions. Yeah. yeah. So there's a stone wall and a brick wall. Brick wall seems to have been inserted within the stone wall, yes. just slightly smaller, yeah. and the, the burning area is much smaller yeah. later on. So in effect, there's only two, we've now got two phases. We we're thinking we're having more phases, but we've now reduced it to two. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, and um, more down to better, obviously, most of the places. I mean, there's yeah. uh, that's largely where we are at the moment. Um, yeah. So, tomorrow, just recording basically. Lots of section drawing, uh, recording, lots more photography, depending on the weather again, <laughs> depending on the sun. And most people are on the road on the, the actual wagon way dig. Dig. So that's yep. that's been opened up today. It because has been opened excavator up. Excavator taking yep. surfaces off. Yeah, so we're ready to rock on that. I may be down here on my Todd until dinner time. But yeah, everybody has done an absolutely sterling job on this and it is, it's provided more information in the extra day we've thrown at it than we could have hoped. Yeah. 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 I've got to thank all the volunteer diggers. Yes. We had a lot of yes, people have. came and helped us. Yeah. It wouldn't have been possible otherwise. Yeah. It's going to cost us fortunately. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>